We thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Let's open our mouths and give God thanks for everything. Lord Jesus, we thank you. We thank you, Lord. We honor you, Lord Jesus, today. We give you thanks, Lord God. You are good and your mercy endures forever. You are faithful, O Lord, and your faithfulness endures forever. We say thank you today, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that we have life today, we have breath. Lord Jesus, we thank you for health and strength. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, that we have mobility. Thank you, Jesus. You have given us good jobs. We say thank you today, O oh Lord. You have blessed us to be able to tithe, to give today through work. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for another day to learn at school. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for another day to be a minister unto you. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. You have protected us, O oh Lord, as we were going out on the bus. You protected us today. At our jobs, you protected us, Lord Jesus. It was only you, Father. We say thank you today, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the oil of the rock that you provided for us, that we would be covered in you that we would be hidden in you. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Rock of Ages, for you have cleft for us and we have hidden ourselves in you. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for your blood that was shed on the cross. We say thank you today. Lord Jesus, it is because of your sacrifice that we have life. It is because of your payment that we have life today. It is because of you, Lord Jesus, that we have life today. We say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeshua, we give you thanks today. We thank you, O oh Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your salvation. Thank you for eternal life today. Thank you, Lord, for abundance. You have blessed us. We say thank you today, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you have protected our children, our grandchildren you have protected, our nieces and nephews you have kept safe. We say thank you today, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your mercy, for your mercies are new every morning. It is because of your mercy that we can testify of your goodness, that we can testify of what you have done. We thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, that we did not deserve your mercy, but you gave it freely. We say thank you today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that we could not save ourselves. So you came to rescue us. You came to free us from sin. Whatever addiction we used to have, I thank you, Lord, that you have freed us from it today. I thank you, Jesus, that the curse we used to be under, we are no longer under it. That curse of sin and death, it is broken over our lives today. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 
that that curse of poverty is broken. We say thank you, O Lord, that the curse of sin and death is broken. We say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. 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 Oh, great God, we say thank you today. Mighty God, we say thank you. Holy and excellent are you, O Lord. Everything you do is right. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. Everything you do is pure. We say thank you today, O Lord. Thank you. Thank you. For Jesus, you came in flesh. You came and suffered that we would be free. You came and bled so that we would be delivered. We say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You gave us Holy Spirit who teaches us all things, who guides us into all truth. We say thank you for Holy Spirit today, O oh Lord. Thank you for Holy Spirit. For where would we be without Holy Spirit? Where would we be without your Spirit who guides us? O oh Lord, I thank you. We thank you today for Holy Spirit. Thank you for your Spirit of truth. Thank you for your guide, this guide that you have given us, that we would know what to do, that we would know the right steps to take, that we would know the right people to be around, that we would know the right decisions to make. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. You have not left us in darkness, but you have brought us into your light. We are now in light because of you. We say thank you today, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus that we used to be in sin, but now you have made us righteous. Through Jesus, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for transforming us. Thank you for changing us. Thank you for restoring what was lost. Thank you for purifying our hearts. Thank you for giving us your spirit, O oh Lord. We come to say thank you today, Father. We have come to say thank you, O oh Lord. We have come to lift our hands and to raise our voices to you because it is you, O oh Lord, who is worthy of our praise today. It is you, Father. You are worthy of our honor. You are worthy of our glory. We say thank you today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that you have given us wisdom and the spirit of revelation. You have taught us all things. We are not spiritually immature. We are not spiritually ignorant because you have shown us things. You have shown us what to do. You have shown us your principles. You have shown us the devices of the enemy. We say thank you today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We know it is not by our own might that we can do what we do today. We know it is not on our own that we can live. If it was for us, Lord, we would give up. But because we have you, we are still standing. We say thank you today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that many of us were supposed to be in the grave already. Many of us were supposed to be on the deathbed already. Many of us were supposed to be sick with cancer, sick with sickle cell, sick with diabetes and a high blood pressure. But you healed us. You delivered us. You set us free. We have come to give you thanks today. We have come to give you thanks today. It is you, O oh Lord, who has spared us. We say thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You are good, O oh Lord. You are good, O oh Lord. You are good, O oh Lord. You are the reason for our testimony. The reason why we can say thank you, Jesus. You are our reason. We say thank you today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. 
for the testimonies that are to come, for the testimonies that will be given tonight, we say thank you, Lord. Everything that you have done for us and even for others, Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you for the moments that you showed up. We say thank you, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You answered prayers that did not even have to come out of our mouths. But even in our thoughts, we thought we wanted something and you provided it. We say thank you for this today. For times we did not even know we were in trouble. And you revealed things to us. And you rescued us. We say thank you today, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Times we thought we were right. But Lord, we were in the wrong. And you showed us the way. We say thank you today. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You have given us success in all things. In school, we say thank you for this success. In our businesses, we say thank you, Lord. Thank you for customers that you have provided. We thank you for the money that you have provided. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for the skills, for the gifts that you have given to us. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Our heart rejoices. Our lives are good because of you, Lord. Because you are in it, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Our hearts shall make a boast in the Lord today. Our soul shall make a boast in the Lord today because he is good and his mercy endures forever. Because the Lord is faithful, we rejoice in him today. It is not because of our circumstances that we rejoice, but because the Lord is on the throne, we have come to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for battles that are already won, for weapons that you have given us that are sharp and powerful. We say thank you today for your sword that you have given us that pierces through the division of soul and spirit. We say thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for the fire that you have placed in our mouths, that when we speak, that fire consumes everything that is not of you. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. You have gone before us and you have fought our battles for us. We say thank you today. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. You have gone before us and you have slain dragons that we could not slay on our own. We say thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you that we have victory in you. We are triumphant in you. We rejoice because you are on our side. You are for us. We say thank you for this today. Thank you, O oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are our strength. You are our hope. You are our trust. No one else, no one else, but you, O oh Lord, we say thank you today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. 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 Thank you, O Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The litter of our heads, we say thank you today. Thank you, O oh Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. You are good, your mercy endures forever. You are the good God who forgives all our sins. Thank you for your mercy. We have tasted and we have seen that you are good. We are blessed, Lord, because we trust in you. We thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. 
weeping. But good morning to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. You may have your seats. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good, isn't he? <clears throat> yeah. We all can testify of his goodness. And the truth is, he is good. And there is no one who can deny that. If you ask Satan, Satan will say, God is good. Not even Satan can deny his goodness. Because in reality, he is good. He is good to the one who is angry with him. He has done nothing for us to be angry with him. Man is rude to be angry with God. All he has done is good. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And he said, whoever would believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. God is good. He did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And it's because of that we are saved. Amen. Are we saved? Oh, yes, we are saved. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we look forward to his return. Amen. Are we? Now, if you're not looking forward to his return, it means you are not saved. And you need salvation. Amen? Amen? But if you look forward to his return, it means that you're ready to go. Yes. So on that day, you will not be surprised. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. It's my prayer that all of us are ready for his return. And uh, as I say, when we, we were in Goshen, I was praying, Lord, let none of the souls be lost. And the Lord responded to me. He said, know this. Every man must come to me and ask for forgiveness. All right? So my prayer didn't work. I could pray that your soul be saved. It doesn't work. So I don't waste my time anymore. He said, you must be born again. That's the only way he can save you. You must be you must be born again. So it's not you must be playing games again. You must be born again. You see, we're living in the time where there's no, no more games. No more games, no more. <clears throat> no play, play. You must be born again. It's a serious moment. Serious time. Your salvation it depends on you. Huh? Not on me. Not on anybody in there. And that day, we all have to stand before God for ourselves. Huh? And we cannot lie. Even if, in fact, when we stand before God, there will be no urge of lying. There will be no thought of lying. We will speak the whole truth how we messed up. And judgment will come from our own mouths against us. So serve God. Amen? Amen? Amen. The Bible says, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That's what the Bible of God, that's what the word of God says. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, thank God it's Friday. You know, I know people just have the Oil of the rock. I literally go nowhere without it. <laughs> I don't go anywhere without it. All right. So, before the oil of the rock testimonies come, you know, Sister Sylvia was baptized on Sunday. Sunday. And... Um, When she came and she said, Roy, you know I was baptized when I was 18. But I, I, I want to be baptized again. We are told that to baptize somebody a second time is like crucifying Jesus again. 
Yet, the scripture didn't say that. But the scripture said, Yet uh, this, yet this. A backslider who come back to Jesus, you are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. Because we usually say, God is married to the backslider. He is. Hmm? But when the person divorces you and they go, they go. But the backslider divorced Jesus. Who is the backslider? The backslider is the one who has tasted that good of God and walk away from it. If you have not tasted it, I don't care how much church you go, you, you, you do the front slide much as the backslide. You have to understand it. And one day we'll go in the book of Hebrews to understand who is the backslider. The one who has tasted that good word, that good spirit of God. You go to a You read the front side. You don't even taste. You don't even know who is the Holy Spirit. You have not tasted the word of God. You stop going to church. I call you backslider. <laughs> I don't go call you backslider. Now, if you come here and you've been here and you live, you backslide. You backslide. And the other living churches that are around in Dominica, you know them. If it's a living church, you, you go to. And you roll back, you backslide. But you go somewhere, you never taste what is the true word. I don't know if I can call that backslide. But here we see, the backslider, he said it is impossible, Hebrews, for that person to come back. If you come back, you didn't backslide. The truth is you didn't front slide. <laughs> you did not engage the good word of God and walk away. You see, it is that person who has crucified Jesus a second time. The one who tastes the Holy Spirit, the good word of God, the power of the Holy Spirit, anointing and they walk away and go back into the world. He said that person has crucified Jesus again. So we'll go into that because I used to pray save backsliders, but Every time I read that, I realize and I waste in my prayer. Because I, in my heart, want to take out the word impossible there. But it is there. And it is the word of God. In a way that put it there. Eh? Impossible. It is impossible for the person to come back. Mm -hmm. No, you do not front slide there. You, I mean, you as have said, you, you baptize, baptize, the day you baptize, you go, okay. Yeah. Huh? So how you, how you, <laughs> you never front slide. <laughs> you never front slide. You never front slide. So the Holy Spirit said to me to baptize her. Now, let's say you, you were in church and you come back. Here is, the, here is what the Bible says. Repent and be baptized. Sister Sylvia was out there for, she baptized at 18. She was, maybe was out there for 20, maybe 30 something years. 30 something years. She repent. She should be baptized. She's repent and be baptized. I mean, somebody who go out there for a month and come back, you don't baptize the person. But 30 something years? That person repent. They, it's like they must come back. They must be baptized. For what? For the remission of their sins. To cleanse them. And that's what Jesus said. So I stopped asking questions whether you should be baptized because he told me what are the requirements for baptism and for rebaptism. All right? We are, I will not do like the Adventists, people just come in. Every crusade you want to, you have to baptize them. There's too much baptism. <laughs> but the person has been out there for many years, and they say they want to come back to Christ. Jesus said, baptize them. Once they repent, baptize them. Baptize them. Because baptism is not for, doesn't make you a child of God. It is for repentance. 
it follows it repentance for the person that have been out there for so long. So here is she. I know since she's baptized, something new happened. So I want her to testify. Since her baptism, what happened? Let's go. Don't take the whole night over, I see. <laughs> yes, good morning again. Well, I know that since I got baptized, something there's something different about me. Is that I know I used to be bold, but now I have that kind of a boldness in me that, uh, yes, very aggressive. <laughs> and um, <laughs> to tell you today, <laughs> I stopped my boss and I was talking to him and he just stood up and he watched me. And uh, I started telling him, man, and he, all he said, whoa, Good news, Sylvia, you? Yes, good news. Whoa. And I said to him, see that? The ending of January is there. And uh, see your place. I said that to him today. I tell him, every year we complain him. There's a word he used, both he and his wife, they say, should I? It's, it's, it's not a bad word. Because that bad it used to be. Down to the end, worse. And let me tell you, this morning, um, I, was do I started breakfast, but it was so slow, so slow. Somebody else was doing it. I went outside, and uh, this song is in my head for days. Hold on to me. When it is dark, hold on to me. When I let go, Hold me again. I have been singing that song for three days. And all of them is just wondering, just watching me. And one of them, you know, came up to me and we spoke and I told her, you know, I got baptized on Sunday. She said, oh, it's because I just, and somebody said, your face is bright. I said, okay. So to finish, tell you, to tell you, the church, I stayed there. I outside singing. Well, I, I, I honestly, I don't worry. And I sing, I sing, and I'm not supposed to sing in the man's place. You cannot have headphones, but let me tell you. If he enter and he hear in, hold on to me, hold on to me. When I think I don't need you, hold on to me. Say, shanty, moka, shanty. Yeah. Then uh, it was time for the other lady to go to the front because things so slow. <laughs> let me tell you. When I took up breakfast this morning, let me tell you, slow, slow, slow. The person that was making breakfast said, but what, what happened there? That's a orders. Orders just start coming. Orders. And I'm like, whoa. It was so slow. So slow. Well, I told my boss. Well, to be honest with you, to tell each other, I tell him, you know what? I'm anointed. I tell him, and everything attached to me win. And he say, in Jesus' name, I say thank you. So I just know there's this boldness about me and this aggressiveness, you know, to tell people about Jesus. And I all by the door telling them Jesus is coming. I don't care who hear me. That's why I tackle a, a, a lesbian and let me tell you something. I started talking and I, I corner her man and she stand up there and hands on her head and she watching me because she know that is not the silver silver she knew she know me long time and she know that is not me so i just want to give god thanks for me for him taking me out of that darkness and bringing me back into his light that shattered body then he putting him back together again i just want to give god thanks and uh, i want i just ask for grace to endure till the end just to endure because it's not those who start the race but it does win dear to the end. So I just give God thanks. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Well, yeah. So she was baptized. And 
And I heard a few people saying, Bro, hey, what about me? Bro, hey, what about me? Bro, hey, what about me? Don't worry. Bro, hey, we'll tell you who. Bro, we'll tell you who. And uh, that doesn't mean everybody else who Bro, hey, will baptize them. If Bro, C want to baptize them, he, he can go ahead. But um, it's not everybody Bro, hey, will baptize. Bro, I have to learn from Paul. Paul said, you know, I don't know about to baptize much people. Lest they say, uh, I am of bro A. <laughs> and the other say, I am of bro C. <laughs> and, uh, and the next one say, I am of Pastor Yvonne. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> so I have to be careful. I don't know. But um, as God put it on my heart, I will select those who need to be baptized and baptize them again. Um, yeah, so thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, oil of the rock. I literally go nowhere yeah. without it. Griffin, you ready to stand up? Or come with Griffin. Yeah. I know that it was that Griffin <laughs> hand up. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Good morning, church and YouTube viewers and everybody else. Well, um, I guess everybody saw me on Dominica News Online, breaking, breaking news, on Chap Chap, on YouTube, on TikTok, I everywhere in the world. Yes. And some of you will wonder, but what she doing there with revived that shirt on top of her? How come she have revived that shirt? Well, let me tell you my testimony with that shirt. Monday morning at 2 o'clock, I woke up. And I say I go into devotion. I doesn't change clothes when I want to devotion, but Monday morning, Holy Spirit tell me I'm going to change my clothes. Go and babe and change my clothes. What I call, I go, I take a cold bath, change my clothes, I go in the back in the room, I take women on a mission, green t-shirt to put on me. I sat on the chair, he tell me no. I said, no, I'm the shirt. I go in the wardrobe, I put it back, I take a gray t-shirt. <laughs> he tell me no, go for revive the hat t-shirt. I said, boy, all my shirt all we already, the, my shirt on me tonight, this morning there. Anyway, I go, I feel in the wardrobe, in the darkness, I don't get it. I remember, we wanna have me Saturday on the chair, in the room, so I take it. I sat on the chair, and my Bible, and my oil by me, the big bottle of oil. And I put the shit on me, my sisters and brothers. I slide down the shit, I, English, I glide down the shit on me. <laughs> <laughs> and when that shit was well fit, I sit down, and I just relax. I say, you know, thinking of what I'm going to do now, what I, where I actually need to take me somewhere. And I felt different. Without praying, without doing nothing, as soon as it go on me, my whole body changed. I start to vibrate. My teeth start to knock. I start to speak another language. I start to groan. My hands start trembling. And you could hear Rocky wake up. Rocky said, Mommy, you sick? I tell him, No. I look. And I continue vibrating. And he said, Mommy, you're doing like you're in pain. I couldn't answer that time because I was really in the spirit. Then I heard something, the Holy Spirit tell me, take the oil and pour in your hands. I, my hands tremble in, I take the oil, I pour in my both hands. And from, I, I don't know how it happened, I started to slap my feet. You will stand, you will stand, you will stand, hard, hard, you will stand, you will stand, you will stand. And then I stop and I just start saying, you're not fighting against flesh and blood. You're not fighting against flesh and blood. And I keep on screaming it inside the house. You're not fighting against flesh and blood. And I cool out, I there. And then I go to my Rock of Ages. I go to my Psalm 13. They break. On the break, I make my sister dig under my foundation. So I call the surveyor. He answers his phone. I tell him, well, my sis, you just serve with my sister on Thursday, 
and look, she dig it under the foundation, which is going to undermine the house. She tell me, whoa, whoa, whoa she disappoint me. Angela, she disappoint me. Okay, you know what you do for me? I'm going to call her. You have a green wire, not true, yes. Run the wire, bungry to bungry for me. That's your gate. So I said, okay. So I stay inside, I say, Frank, my brother, come and put the wire for me now. But for the wire to stand up, you must put like a post. Why to, and look at the binding wire. You will tie it on the binding, with the binding wire. But my sister, Sissy, stay over at home and she saw Frank digging the holes. She called Angela. Angela, come, boy, with power. Don't call, don't call nobody name? Don't call okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, so Nif, yeah, Dakumba tell Nifi, yeah. Okay. Nifi Afan. And Nifi Afan come with power. And he call in the brother, get off my land. That is my land. Get off my land. So, me still have my shirt on my phone, my little tights on me. And I don't, I don't go outside because I know when I feel I go to bathe to go Rosso. I run out. I say, Frank, you cannot move. That is my boundary. And you're working for me. She push him. So when she push him, I he stand up. He said, Boy, you think then? But it's her, it's her own. It look, look at there, it's her own. Then she leave him and she run down in the other end where I was standing again. So when she come and she hold the pole, I say, Yo, that is my pole, the touch it. That is my wall, the touch it. And she grabbed me. <laughs> Jesus. And she really grabbed me. And she telling me, stop it. Then my son jumped up from town. And he said, it's a good thing I don't go yet. It's a good thing I don't go yet. But when he go to Wola, I come in front of him and say, no, don't touch her. Then my other son come. And he say, girl, you touching my mother? I say, leave her, don't touch her. But by the time I say, don't touch her, she really don't make wrong and go up fleeing my mother, saying, man, you are do that. Is you that do that. You are making her do that. So the phone in mama face. Mama grabbed the phone, mama threw it. And she grabbed mama on her chest. And she hit her on the wall three times. Send her back, bring her back, send her back, bring her back. Third time, Glenn jumped down and Glenn pushed her. But when she, Glenn pushed her, she want to go with mama. She dragging mama to go with mama. That's where the, Commotion start with all those children, my children, with her. She took it and she sent it on. I have no other money, everybody. But it's so good. Today I went to Tong and everybody watching me, and I know everybody watching because <laughs> it's everywhere. I don't know what they say. What, what, what they say on TV? Huh? They, what they, they, they put on TikTok? Everything the you beating her. Yeah, no, they don't put. They don't come to eat, my brother. I say, it come in. No, if you it have what you beating her, I don't hear you. Yeah. No, it have me beating her. But you welcome to. It have me sharing my son from beating her. You don't beat her. I give her a little shake, but I don't beat her. A little shake. Mm -mm, I don't beat her, <laughs> brother. But maybe the Holy Spirit. Maybe that anointing they put on me that morning there, it wasn't to be there because if you see it, maybe I tell you new, I wasn't in the spirit. Okay, so for the next time, okay, finish up. Auntie, beat them bad. Anyways, yes, I know. Yes, you get that? Okay, let me take out the anointing. Leave it there, leave it there. <laughs> but we did beat her bad. Mama, have more body. Mama have more, you touch mama and you feel you touch something. But when you touch her, your skin goes straight to her bones. She's soft. She's nothing, she's like a paper. She, she's soft, soft, soft. I, I, I look rough there for I don't want to pick her back up and for I don't. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah. I give her a little shake, man. Yeah. <laughs> I give her a little shake. I try to <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I give her when she when, okay when Glenn ninety two. Mama ninety two. And she slammed mama three times on the wall. Ah. Yes. 
So I, when Glenn pushed her, she fall by me. I pick her up. I give her two little push. Boom, down. When I bring her back up, when I go to put the hand in the face, Holy Spirit put on the hand. Yeah, when I say he put it on, the hand just come weak. And all I could say, thank you, Jesus, because if I could knock her out. So she take it, she send everywhere. So everybody seeing it. I go Rosa today to my sister and everybody watching me. I don't know what to watch it, but they see, because me, I don't go there. It's people are sending pictures for me, so I don't know what comment that passing, I don't know. And I went into security. And as I pushed it open, I had the security there. Look her. <laughs> I know I know her somewhere. <laughs> I know, I don't know what he's going to say because he, no way, look her, no I know her, so everybody watch and watch me. So he telling the cleaner, look her, she was just seeing there, I tell all you, I know her, look her. So the, he, tell me, he say, who is she? She is the one holding the boy. So he turned back and say, oh she, she's a good Samaritan. <laughs> keep it up, keep it up, he's a good Samaritan. So I want to give God thanks for empowering me to, quote. okay, what did, what, did, what did that Monday morning? He calmed me down. He gave me the calmness that I could have calmed my children. But maybe if I was not in the Holy Spirit, maybe everybody would be in a little block um, stock farm. So he calmed us down. And he took what the enemy tried to turn for my bad, he turned it for my good. So I want to give him thanks for that. Amen. One more. I love all Mother Rock. Remember, I tell all you. Okay. <laughs> Oil of the rock. I go nowhere without it. Now remember I tell all you Iba say he not in that oil business. He doesn't believe in that thing. He had a big carbon crown in his forehead, thank you. But when I pour it, the same day I pour it, it was the same minute. So he had a little He come telling me after all the action happened, I he know he am the night the early morning here when I was in my spirit. You see what happened? Then he called me stupid. You that God, 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 you always God, God, God. You, so what they do in you, you always putting God in it. I said, no, that God fight for me. He know what he doing. So he tell me, boy, in my back. Since that lady tell me hold her, and I hold her, she, and, and she just throw herself down, and tell everybody, I throw her down my back, mommy, my back. When I say walking out to walk from so, I, I walk in just like a lady, mommy. I walk in just like her, I tell him, come. I rub his back for him, okay? Next day he wake up, he tell me, Mommy, that's still there, boy. I still let him, you know, a little. I say, still letting you come. Wait, where the oil? Where the oil? I say, where what? Where the oil? I say, my hand dirty. When I wash my hand, I will come. Night time take, he go and lie down. Mommy, bring the oil. Come on, do that for me now. I do it for him when they break. Mommy, thank you. I say, for what? For everything. For what everything, I'm so much thing I'm doing for you. I, what, I, what, 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 thank you for what? For the oil you put on my back. It, oh no, so mommy, I enjoyed it. I was poo-pooing, 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 and all the pain go. I said, thanks God for that. When he, at least, he, uh, he recognized the oil, and he know what power what the oil brings, and who in the oil. So I give God thanks for it. Oh no, we have one, he don't go nowhere without it. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, we thank God the Holy Spirit come along. Yeah. Let me tell you something, mm -hmm. children of God. Mm -hmm. Nobody would do that to my 92 old mother. I would slap you so hard with the oil of, I would anoint my hand with the oil of the rock and jam a slap in your face. You're not waking up again. Uh, you say, um, is that is violence? The kingdom of God's heaven suffer violence. And the violence take it by force. Jesus beat people for selling in the temple. I wonder what Jesus would do to see a woman have his 92-year-old mother beating her, slamming her three times on her wall. 92. Not only 92, but with a, a pacer in her heart. Sure. 
Hmm? Not only 92, but her pace her in her heart. And the thing is, it's God's grace that have her here still. Because I think they stopped chasing the pacer. Hold on. Last one. And they say they're not changing it again? Right. So they expect her to die already. Yes. Uh, uh, so she was supposed to go already. Yes. But then Rich, but then Griffel come revive the heart ministries. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, she was supposed to go already. According to the doctors, she was supposed to go already. Because the pacer is supposed to <laughs> give up already. And she said, because no sex from most of the doctors. I mean, all these women are so strong. That is, if it's still have pacer there. <laughs> because to have a pacer, and for those of you who don't know pacer, it is the pacer become the heart. It is what that pumps the blood. Because the heart on its own cannot pump blood. So the pacer pump help the heart. At a 92-year-old woman, and what's her age of? Let it be known for record's sake that her daughter is the one that slammed her on the wall three times. Leave your fun. Mm -hmm. And Dakumba pull up on top of the hill, supporting Lifia fans, slamming her 92-year-old mother three times on a wall. No, no, don't come back to So, and uh, Dakumba was leading worship last night and tonight. And all you there, then this. Oh, good. Dakumba leading all in worship. Have you seen Dakumba up there leading worship? Huh? Two Dakumba pull up for leading worship. Dakumba one and Dakumba two leading worship and all you there. Hmm? And I tell him, who was by me now? I tell him, watch Dakumba up there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I tell her, uh, so I was like, to the kumba there. Uh, leading song. Leading song. Yeah, we're leading song. Uh, poor Sister Masia. Sister Masia has seen the kumba if you have them at the back of her leading song. <laughs> so, we, we, do not, we do not think. Um, Violence, but but your 92 year old mother, you have to stand up for. You have to stand up for. You have to. You just have to. And I am happy. I would not have been happy if you didn't say you pick her, you help Livy Avon to stand up, and you put Livy Avon down again, and you help Livy Avon to stand up, and you put Livy Avon down again, and that make my heart happy. Then I can celebrate. Father, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for the grace you give us to slam people on the ground. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I give you all the glory. In Jesus' name. So if it is for one thing, we give God glory. He deserves glory. And he's still alive. Thank God. But I'll tell you something. I would be very surprised if Livia see 2025. If she see it, I will come and say, I am surprised it happened. It's not because I say that. It's because the scripture said it. They say that your days may be long. Livia often have two things working against her there. One, 
She slammed her mother three times. Two, her mother age is working against her. She can never see the age her mother see. I don't think she will see 60. And uh, don't worry. The land is our own. They break the house, but the land. Once she die, we take all land back. That's it. Yeah. She have cursed herself. Unless she come to revive that ministry and say, help me. The curse is upon her. And that's the curse of death. The age of her mother and the fact that it's her mother is working against her. May God deal bountifully on behalf of auntie. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. Watch that. Watch, 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 watch that. Watch that. <laughs> Free. One stand up there. One stand up there. Uh, on the mat. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. No. Um, <laughs> okay. I just want to give God thanks for the oil of the rock. Okay. There's this guy who came to the business this morning. And uh, I mean, I usually call him my son. So he came there and he said to me, boy, I have a pain right there. And uh, I just came down to go to the hospital. I'm having an x-ray today. I say, what? I say, you have a pain? I tell him, can you come to the washroom a while? I brought him to the washroom. I get my oil off the rock. I anointed my hands, put on my hands, and I rest it on him. And I say, I tell him, do you believe that Jesus can heal you? He say yes. He was laughing. I said, let me tell you something. That's no joke business. I am serious with you. I ask you, do you believe Jesus can heal you? He say yes. Serious this, this time. He say yes. So I rest my hands on him and I say, be healed in the name of Jesus. Later, he came back. I see him walking. So I say, what's up? He say, I'm good. I say, you good? He say, yes. When he reached River Sirik, he started speaking to me. You know, message. I said, but why are you up at River Sirik already? He said, I go up. I said, but he's not an egg because he came down to go and do an x-ray because of the pain. I said, but it's not hospital you tell me you're going there. He tell me, since you passed the oil, I haven't felt the pain. I came down this morning to go to the hospital to have an x-ray. But since you passed that oil on me, I haven't felt that pain. So he'll be coming down with a little bottle next time for him to give. <laughs> he, will be, he will be coming with a little bottle. So no matter what, for me to, even though it's a little, because he saw, you know I have that. He tell me even it's a little, I put in the bottle for him. I tell him, okay, wash your bottle and come. I will put a little for you. So I want to give God thanks for the oil of the rock. Thank you, Jesus. I was, yeah, but even when you clapping, don't start clapping, clap, no, don't worry about the others. Are you starting? <laughs> and because all you know, yeah, others clap on you, all you. <laughs> you know, I was, I was just thinking this today. I said, boy, you know, our people need to do more of that oil. Because here it is at the Mount Prosper Pentecostal Church coming down for her portion and they're going out using it and we have it the most we'll do is share it when it was told the on the double portion this once you anoint your, yourself you can just you can pray for people remember i said that yeah. so i was just thinking today i said oh people need to do more of that oil you need to do more of that oil. Bring healing to people. Heal them. Deliver them. Rescue them. Save them. Amen? Amen? Amen. Amen. So, partner say, <laughs> he come in with a little bottle. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah. So when you come down, make sure you tell him, oil of the rock and the grace of God in this oil. We thank God in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. St. Clus, you stand up already. Good morning to all. Um, I want to give two testimonies, so just bear with me. Especially, I does not give testimony often, so bear with the, the length of it. Um, before Sunday pass, uh, before Sunday, I feel I'm not well a certain day. I got member the day, but a day I feel I did not well before Sunday. So I went inside and I lied down on my bed. It was during the day, but I lied down on my bed. And all of a sudden, I don't know what happened. I either I pass out or I fall asleep. But when I get up, I don't know where my entrance of my door is. I don't know. There is where or there, I don't know what to do, and I myself just not in it. Anyway, I lie down on the bed and thinking, trying to think, and so on and so forth, and I cannot think properly, I cannot nothing. I don't know what today is, I don't know nothing. Anyway, I feel better. Then, I don't know if it's two or three days after, I went and slept. The same thing happened to me. I pee all on my bed, and it was tough. Then Sunday, and it's not, by the way, it's not because I hungry my sugar going down, because I did not hungry those times. And plus Sunday, I eat breakfast before I come, I come service, or you give me um, lunch, or you give me supper, I went home. So. About six o'clock, so I eat my supper. When I eat my supper, I say, uh, let me kill her for and put food on fire for tomorrow. But I put food for me to eat in the morning when I get up, 12 o'clock, night time, and it was just extra. I cook extra food. So I was not waiting for in the, when the morning for me to eat and 12 for me to eat and night time for me to eat. I was just eating all the time because the food was there. So, so is not hungry that caused that. Then I feel, then I feel my body not good, it's not normal. So anyway, I stay outside there. I feel getting worse, real bad, I went inside. And there I fall sick, real sick. And I get up and I cannot see properly, I cannot think properly, so I sleep again. Then it continue like that till daybreak. But at a certain time, I, I, I got completely explained it, but my doubles, I don't know nothing about that. But somebody tell me that, um, I forget her name, don't just below me. The, huh? Miranda told me that the night by two o'clock she yeah, I bawling inside there. But June tell me that first anyway. June asked me when I come out service on Tuesday. She asked me, I, I heard somebody bawling. She but she don't know if he's at my home coming out or if he's in the street. But she hear somebody bawling. I say it's not me. It's not me. I said, I did sick last night, but it's not me that was bawling, because when those things are happening, you do not know nothing. <coughs> but somebody come at my home and they tell me what they do, where they phone, where they do phone, and who she go and call to help her with me. So I decided, well, let me go and thanks Miranda, because it's Miranda, she said it, that help. So when I go, Miran Miranda tell me, yeah, but it's not so it happened. Is in the night by two o'clock I heard you bawling, bawling, bawling. And then they break. I get up, I see your door closed, but I went to work. And after work, 
I see your door closed. So I don't, I think, and I say, and I don't know if it's you, you are sick and they bring you to hospital so your door closed. But I did, but I mean just telling me, tell that to your niece. Tell that to your niece. So therefore I go and tell that to your niece and she tell me, check a member of his church. Tell that to one of the members of the church. So therefore I call, um, her name, I call Yvonne. And Yvonne called who she called. But happened that they s she said, they say, don't touch the door, don't touch nothing for if it's something. So we have to, we as the police have to do check there first. So police come, ambulance come, nurse come. So they burst the door and a certain time I just seen, as if I seen plenty of people in front of me, but one in white. So I wonder what happened, how they come there, what happened. So, but they questioned me and, and Greyfell was there. Or it's Greyfell that come and check with them. So Greyfell telling me, you know who talking to you? I see in his Greyfell, but I cannot, the name cannot come. I cannot think to say yes, Greyfell. I just cannot think. But I watching her trying to get the name and I cannot. So therefore, a certain time I hear they say, yeah, he getting better, he getting better. That coming up, but the nurse now talking to a doctor on phone and the doctor telling her what to do. So they do what they do and they, then when they finish, they go. So they tell me they'll be back tomorrow. And tomorrow, I think all oh, you see me come there Tuesday, I believe, what day, with a big plaster in my hand. She tell me, I haven't got to take that out until they come tomorrow. So the tomorrow, they did not come. So because they did not come yesterday, I decide, no, it was the day before. Because they did not come, I decide to come today. And let me see if I write. I decide to come yesterday. Because yesterday, the Thursday, yesterday was Thursday, yes. So I decided to come Thursday because they did not come yesterday. I decided to go in the health center. When I go there, they let they pass me to the doctor. So the I explain to the doctor how I keep on eating like that, and I and I that still happened to me, and only time it happening to me some days are back from from a certain time, and I never hungry, and it's still happening to me. So she went in the book and file, 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 and she asked me if I had do an accident. I tell her yes. So she tell me so, um, your leave, because she seen it in the book, so your leave had damage. I say yes. Then she did not tell me that, but she said to herself, mm, so is the leave that causing that? And she tell me I will have to send you to the hospital. And she keep on writing, writing, writing. And then at a certain time she say, I give you the 25th of next month to come. Not in the hospital, yeah? 25th of next month to come here. And from there, I will know if I send in the hospital or not. Now the second one is um, when I was young, I was working, they was caught in the highway down to Portsmouth. So I was working there very young. And I well, well in the first place I accustomed of working when I would give my mother the paper kit because I was at her home. Then she called my brother, she called me, and she tell my brother, she tell us. The priest selling down there. So those, those um, any one of you that decide to give her money, she will take the money and buy the land for them. But my brother know I give her my pay packet. And it's my father every time that I have to tell her, give me a $20 because I have friends for him to make drinks for him. They always give me something. Sometimes when she give it to me, I take it and buy doll for my sisters and them. Because I haven't got use for money really. So he did not include himself. 
Any way after you or about you, my father tell me, fortnight coming, I'll finish pay the land. When, while bringing it, coming out in his room and coming and meet me with it, I don't watch to see what the, the, the letters on them is. I just see M-A-G. That alone I see from a distance. I bought him two among he, there two over there. So I say, but, but how come this is your name that on it? He start to not laugh, but he, <laughs> mislin, my mother name, mislin, un peu comme même où il veut avoir brother, brother, j'avoue, c'est non, mon qui en l'air. So, he, he finished rich. And he tell me, well, he put my name because I am young. If anything, he will, for him, he'll stand. Anyway, my three aunties and them, when they hear about that, they ask me if it's true. And, and my uncle Tin, I tell him, tell them yes. They tell me that not normal. My father should take out his name and put my name because we are, he have plenty of children. So therefore, it don't go far. So therefore, I get older. We was going church Kubawi, by um, Pastor Simon was the pastor. So I bring that up to him, and he call a meeting. And the church with everybody. Well, anyway, they did not lie. They say, yes, it's true, and things like that. So Pastor Simon asked them to take out the name, his name, and put it on my name. They decide they will. When, I, when we reach at home, my mother tell me, but that time now, I did already vex with them for the same land. So I had a heavy or, 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 or heavy days because I would badly, badly talk to them, badly unsign them and whatever. So therefore, when we reach at home, she tell me, my mother tell me, she agreed to change, take out my father's name and put my name, but she have a false teeth making, in, want to make in tongue, I have to pay for the false teeth for her. And I tell her, I cannot tell. Children doesn't tell mother. So she find that not normal because I'm not a person that cursing. And Kelly is my cousin. I always at his home and he using drug. So later on she tell me, I tell her something and so on and so forth in a nice way. She come tell me that. So she know it was not normal. Um, if when I go by Kelly, I does use drug. I say, "Ma, you come back again. You come back behind me again." So she start to cry and she go about her business. Now, when I was go at loop, I was go at loop not too long or some time back. I come back. So therefore, um, when I come, she, she. Um, I tell her I want some, uh, so, um, I want a wood river, but I tell it to her hard and straight. She say, I, I, just, I say, man, I don't hear nothing with you. I want to have a wood with you, so get your pastor and whatever. Anyway, she get, I, I kind of sh cut, cut it, yeah, so I don't try to understand. So happened that the pastor come, and but before the pastor come, she go and watch for it. She, or she make, in other words, she make, what she wanted to tell me is she make a will for the land to be mine. But she did not say that because I do let her talk. So therefore, um, the pastor come, and there she tell the pastor, look, yes, yes, but she make a will is my own, nobody could take it, and feel that, but I didn't want to hear. So the pastor has got to go for it. When she go for it, she didn't see it. It disappeared in the house. Then uh, she said she'll make another one. Two of us go to make another one. And the person was just going out. So he asked us to come back. But I did not come back. She go back. And they make another one. So he, she tell me she get she make another one so i'll come when i come i meet the pastor there again that day so therefore 
she saying, when she go to put it there, she saying, took the one she did not see. In. So therefore, it have two there. So he read both of them and he said, he tell me the two of them saying the same thing. So therefore, he, so I, so they put it, they put, my mother put it back in place and thing that. Then of, both of them disappear. And I can call her name, it's not a problem. So when it disappear, I get a message that Alicia say, but he haven't got paper showing it is not my father. When he, he married, my father gave him there to build his house because he married, but he's not give it to him for himself because uh, he don't even have paper showing his, his, his own. And he said about will, but he, it, it haven't got no will. He haven't got no will saying it's his own because she know is she. Well, I believe it's three of them that complo, but she was the main person. So therefore now, uh, I pray for some time. I don't see nothing happening because I ask for God to take out a revenge for me. <laughs> and, and therefore, I come to Brother Albert and I explain to him. So in explaining to him, the oil of the rock come. So therefore, I anoint the, fo the, fo the bungry, the end of the land, in front of my door and inside. And I start praying for God to take out our revenge. I don't, I show one, but I don't know if the three others in it. So I say, my God, if it's one, revenge that person for me. And I keep on using the same prayer for a long time. If it's free, revenge them. And then, not too long there, I hear in that. So I let them know I will regret for the person that involved in taking the will and give it, passing all their message about me. So I will regret for them. And look, I hear Alicia pass a, mes a message that she should not pass in the hospital. And they fire her. And the, hus <laughs> and, and the husband decide to sue the person that passed the message. So that is what I hear. <laughs> now, yeah, let me tell you something. It is biblical for him to ask God to take revenge for him. Okay? It is biblical because God himself, the Bible says, do not take revenge for yourself. Let God handle the case. So, it is biblical for God to take revenge on our behalf. Now, I cut him short. It's a story I hear about two times already, so I know how long it is. So I already know it, so maybe one day I can tell all the rest. <laughs> but um, it's his land, and his land is his land. And uh, I, I, I was going to tell him, because here is it. The, the thing is, and I was a little concerned about when he came the last time. I was a little concerned, and when I concerned, I was concerned hard. Is that um, they now saying that it belonged to his young guest brother, Terrell. And when Terrell come, now I know Terrell. Terrell is a murderer of murderers. Terrell kill not person, people. And even now he's in France prison for murder. And I say, this man is not as strong as he used to be. So I say, what he should do is put that oil in the four corners. I didn't tell him, but he hear. Yeah. <laughs> he hear. Yeah. So you hear him say? He put it in the boundaries. Because he have the oil of the rock. And from there, handle your business. Handle your business. Okay? So if, if you say, take revenge for me, God will take revenge. I tell you, they'll bring that will back. They'll bring it back because if you, they will not be able to handle the fire. What belongs is belong to you, belong to you. And even if, even if, hear this, even if he never paid for the land, even if for the amount of years he there and he built his house there, it belonged to him. 
It belongs to him. All right? So let God ask you, ask your God, let him keep dealing with people. And yourself, all you know is use the oil of the rock and pray your prayer. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Amen. sleep in my bed. At that time I was came from when I was gonna sleep in my bed <laughs> I go and sleep, I wake up the next night. I wake up in the night then my two hand and my two foot start to hurt me and I they're crying. When my mommy come she say what happened to me I say my two foot and my two are not in me. She say she go, she come back. She say what happened to me? She, I say my two foot and my two hand um, my two foot and my two are not in me. Then she say if I want the oil of the rock, I say yes. And when she give it to me, I put it on my two hand and on, and on my two foot, <laughs> and then. I go back and sleep. I wake up. It was still hurting me. So, wait, no. I put it on my toe and on my two foot. Uh huh. And I put it again. Then, <laughs> then I go and Then I. Then I go and sleep. When I wake up, in at that time I'd wake up in the night, and it was still hurting me. So I go back and sleep again. <laughs> and when I I wake up in the night again. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. And I feel my two foot. And my two hand, nothing wasn't hurting me again because of the oil of the rock. And what? And then I go back and sleep happy. Yes, sir. Happily ever after. Yes, I. <laughs> uh, <laughs> happily ever after. Yes, I. Yes, good morning, good morning. Good morning to you. I have a little testimony to give about the oil of the rock. Yes. yes. I went to Guadalupe with my oil. Even though you were smell my oil, but my oil does not stay far. Oh. My, here my oil is staying. Oh, boy! <laughs> 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 my oil is staying. It doesn't stay far. You don't see it morning or night. No way. Uh-uh. Uh, oh, I okay, okay, wait, wait. Get, get the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love the rock. <laughs> I, I literally go. Every no here without, without it. it. <laughs> 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 so when I went to Wado, my oil was in my head. I went to buy some rock tides because I didn't work doing my men. And I went there. I stand up there waiting for the man to serve me. People come in, go in. I stand up there. The man was watching me go in. And he's praying. I was like, he's praying for mosquito eyes. I do then uh, I see my two foot hurting me. I go, so I leave. I go in. What's going on? They call me back. She asked me, what happened? You don't get what you want. I said, but so long I didn't demand to serve me. She said, come, come, come. Like, well, <laughs> they serve me. But it was missing 40 tiles. So the next morning, we went early for it. And I reach. I go inside, first person. The man come in. The man don't watch me. He there doing his work. Then, then a lady coming in, she walk in there. One church at the door, she said, why? I get an oil smell today. She said, I want oil. She said, where you taking the oil smell? She said, the door, I come inside there. But I don't remember, I have oil, you know. Then the man starts spraying. Then he said, what all you want? I said, I want that child. He said, have a boat. 
works any man for the works any man. Even I've got that one. Give me that one. He said, I said, haven't got. Man said, okay. I want to he said, I said, I haven't got nothing there for all. You go outside. <laughs> <laughs> we went out. But I said, but the oil man, I didn't know that. The oil work, then I couldn't see me. Okay. That is the oil business now. But last night I had a dream. And that dream, now, I was some, yeah. But I had some people selling bread. And she, that young lady. She, yes. She, sa- <laughs> <laughs> she was selling bread too. So she bought two bread. And when she bought the two bread, she resell it again. And she gave me all the coins. My two hands were full of silver coins. She gave me plenty. So I telling her, what that for? She never speak to me. She was watching me. She's smiling. We hope the boss. She never speak. Just watching me. She's smiling. What plenty of coins. So I telling her that. I think if I know what is that? What good time? I have to get. <laughs> but that will help me. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> The coins, plenty. <laughs> plenty, silver coins. Okay, I tell you, I I had decided to annoy her hand tonight, and so I guess I let Sister Richie annoy her hand tonight. Yeah. So yeah, um, I had decided to annoy her hand. There are people if they want she would eat. You'll eat. And when you know you'll eat. But now she say it. You know, time was running out there. And, and I always said, <laughs> Brucey, that's supposed to speak. He may be there. I see, I see getting bothered already. And I see at that time, I already, I already want to tell him, leave it for Sunday. Uh, allow them to, to testify. Uh, and so I, I was going to leave that alone. <laughs> uh, and now, so... It's not me that annoying the hand. It was my wife. So that's my wife of command. And uh, what I know for sure, if my wife annoying the hand, my wife will buy and resell and bless people. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Babes, come, you step forward. So I, I, it wasn't me. So I, it, I, was, I was rude to want to do it. <laughs> In the name of Jesus, I anoint your hands. In the name of Jesus, Father, I thank you. I declare your hands will prosper. You will go. You will make lots of money. In the mighty name of Jesus, poverty will be far from you. Lack will be far from you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare you will prosper. Your hands are blessed. In the name of Jesus, everywhere you go, you will prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you will do well. You will live long in Jesus' name. Go and prosper in the name of Jesus. Amen. Well, well, she said, Brother Albert, tell me (laughs) what is happening. (laughs) Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I guess that's what she come for. Amen. But, uh, Brucey, I'm not going to put you there at that time. You leave that for Sunday. <laughs> All right? Yeah. All right, good morning, everybody. All right, let me just testify of the oil of the rock. You know, last time I testified on behalf of my brother, and um, he said it work, but, um, you know, just a few days there, he sent me a message. You know, I was driving, and um, I tell him, send me a message because. I don't want to be on the phone and, and, and driving. So he sent me a message and, and listen to this. I tell you that oil is effective, that it will good. And I might say, I pish on it because I don't want it to finish. I pish on it bad, 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 bad. I don't want it to finish at all. Yeah, so I thank God for. The oil of the rock, the effective oil, oil of the rock. I mean, if the outsiders see how effective it is, much less for, for us. You know, uh, two Tuesdays back, we went to the hospital, and um, I was asked to pray for a young man from Hollywood, Germany. 
yeah, an ex-officer, good friend of mine, and um, I prayed with him. And um, you know, the next day, he was out of the hospital because when I came back the Friday, the nurse said, you know, the next day he went home. So I want to thank God for the oil of the rock. All right, in Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Effective oil, oil of the rock, oil of the rock. I literally go nowhere without it. <laughs> Boy, that oil doesn't. Boy, that oil there. That oil there. That oil there. Huh? Imagine somebody enter a store and they're telling you, I want that tile there. It haven't got. Okay, if it haven't got, give me that one there. It haven't got. Okay, okay, well, give that one there. It haven't got nothing for all you inside there. Huh? The man that spray this thing, you go in there and they for say the man thing. Huh? <laughs> Uh, which one? Kaulaj. Uh, so the man that spray this thing is made of any. And you just come with your oil. <laughs> the oil of the rock, oh. The oil of the rock. And we promise you all 2024, year of miracle. 2024 is what? Is what? Is what? Year of miracle. Imagine that. And we, we had that up before 2023 end. On Sunday, we'll be putting 2025 there. Eh? Well, we already know what 2025 is. We doesn't wait for it to finish. We know already. So we put it down there. So, oil of the rock. Amen. <laughs> morning all right so um the semester for college just started and as always it have problems with the classes getting to them which classes are available so i had four core courses to do this semester i mean classes i must do to graduate it's a part of my major, which is business. So I go to pick the classes, and all of them clash in with the times I would have to come here. Every single one of them. And I'm like, boy, choose the first three, one of them out. And I just cannot seem to get it. The class full, the only time I can do it, the class full. So I was like, yes, I. So I don't know nothing. I didn't, I wasn't worried about that. But it was, I think, the first day. And the Tuesday before, I went to school. And on that day, I was supposed to have a small business class. Went there, the teacher not there. You have another class there. Go college. Nobody don't know what's happening. The people are supposed to know happening, don't know what's happening. They self-lost. I was like, yes. So that Thursday self. Most of my class is starting on Monday because of how hectic it does be um, during the college week when it's just that. So I sit down on the couch, I just finished pray, and I was like, I'm not going to college today. I'm not going to get the class anyways, and that's the only class I would have to look for today. But while I sit down, it's like, Holy Spirit tell me, no, go college. I was like, I'm going to college for now. I was like, that one class, and I know the teacher not going to be there. Anyways, I say, you know what, let me not question God here. Yeah? I say, if it's he that tell me to go, it must work. Why, he tell, why he would he tell me to go and it not work out for me? So I go, I get dressed, leave in the house, and I put, put my shirt, on my RTH and my um, college shirt. Say, okay, go iron my shirt, get my shirt, leave the house, go up there, and as predicted, the class, no one's there. I go again, look for the class high and low, no one in the college seems to know what's happening. Go to the registrar's office, they don't know. Go down several times ago, they don't know. Trying to get lecture, they cannot get her. I was like, yes, I. I was like, so what are you even going to do now? Now, I didn't pray for that, but it was in my mind. I remember telling that to Jerry Nolding. I had a lecturer last semester. Um, her name was Miss, her name is Miss Panfe. I was like, boy, if Miss Panfe could teach every one of my classes, I would be so happy. I was like, all the lady missing to do is like, just convert, just come, just Jesus save her. Because, yeah. So I was like, you know what? I wish she could, I wish she could teach me every single one of my classes. So I go up to um, the admissions office, student affairs, and I'm talking to them and they tell me the class full, the time full. 
but I can talk to the lecturer. Now, I can't, the lecturer that was supposed to be for that class, which is customer service, is Miss Benjamin. So I go down to the office and I'm looking. The first person I see is Miss Panfe. So I don't know who Miss Benjamin is, so I'm telling her, I'm like, you know who Miss Benjamin is? I'm looking for her. She's like, for what? I explain to her, she's like, oh, but I take in the class. I say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So I tell her, so you can just add me. She said, no, I have to go to her first because it's still under her name. Went, talked to her. She tell me I have to ask the lecturer that taking it. It's Miss Panfe. She accept me to the class. So boom, I got that class that I was supposed to get because that's the only one I was missing to graduate. So I thank God for that. But not only that, remember, I was saying to myself, I wish Miss Panfe could teach me all my courses. And I'm standing there. She's like, why don't you join my small business class? I was like, you teaching small business? She was like, yeah. And that's the same class I could not get into for anything. Every time I go, the teacher not there, lecturer not there, no one knows what's going on with the class. So I dropped that one real quick, and I took the class with Miss Panfi. So I thank God for that. And then today, while coming down from school, I'm walking, and who is pretending to walk? I was like, okay. I just go, I leave, I walk down. Whilst I'm walking down, it kind of drizzling, he said, stay there. So I was like, okay, this is weird, but I just stop where he tell me to stop. And I wait, I wait, I wait, I wait. Then I was like, I was like, can I go? Tell me yes. Walk down. As I walking down, it's all right. Stop by me. Boom. It's like, you want to ride down? I was like, yes. So I got a ride down. And I know if I had just go down, I wouldn't have got, gotten it. So I thank God for that. And then one last thing. Bro A was just saying we need to do more things with the oil. We need to heal people. Well, on Saturday, that was me and Julie's agenda. Because I remember it was last Saturday and we were like, you know what? Like we want to we want to heal people, we want to like do stuff on the street. And it's that Saturday that I put I was put on the mic. So I was like, ah, look I on the mic. This Saturday we say, okay, we're going to do it. Cause how much opportunities pass us? And I know it's God that sent it. Somebody come, they tell us we they we they're sick and we just they're like. So I was like, I know it's God, and every time we just let the opportunities pass us by, man. So it was like, okay, this Saturday, once we there and both of us on the street, we're going to do it. Bro, he put us to, I was like, yes. So we go, while swing King's I was like, okay, for us to be walking around, bro, see straight station as one place. I was like, Papa Matt. I was like, <laughs> I was like, boy, and we stand up one place because I thought we could go and walk. But I was like, you know what? That's not nothing. So we stand up and I was praying. I was like, Lord, whoever you want to send them today, send them. Whoever you want to send, whatever you want done, send them today, we'll do it. So while we walk in, it's so we see a man walking out of his house, cast on his foot, broken leg. So it's like, first one. So he come and sit down. We go talk to him, prayed for him. While we was praying for him, he said he felt his foot like he had an open saw in his foot. And he was saying that he was feeling that it was closing up. Prayed for that man. We left him. We went down. Whilst we went down, another person come to us. They're talking to us. And all that's in my mind is to ask him if he needs anything to be prayed for. So I was like, Holy Spirit, you can tell me. And I got his head. So I'm like, what about his head? While he's going, Julie says the same thing. Like she felt that she should have asked him. So we call him back. And it's he wanted wisdom. He wanted to understand what he was reading. So Holy Spirit instructs us to pray for him. We prayed for him. Third person coming up. While he's walking up, he comes, Jubilee's talking to him, and all of a sudden, the Holy Spirit tells me he's a footballer. So I was like, okay, like he's a footballer now, like, what am I supposed to tell him about that? He's like, he has an injury. So I'm like, okay. So I asked him, I was like, hey, what's your name? Do you play football? He tells me, yes. I was like, you have an injury? He says, yes. I was like, where? He tells me it's his knee. So I was like, it still bothers you till this day? He's like, yes. So I'm like, okay, can we pray for you? So we come. We pray for him, lay my hands on him with the oil of the rock. We pray. So I just want to thank God because that was kind of something we wanted to do. So I thank him for answering our request. In Jesus' name. Oil of the rock. We literally go, no, yeah, without it. Jamais. I know those folk where the people finish their own already. I don't know. First uh, Oh, you still have yours? Yeah, you have plenty. My sister didn't tell me I won't run. run. <laughs> My sister didn't tell me she, she blew through that already. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you give us some Sunday? Uh, 
So, God has blessed us. Yeah? God has. And we are blessed. And therefore, we must take advantage of the blessing he has given to us. Yeah? So that he can bless us again. Amen? Amen. Don't hide it. Yeah? Before it turns to woman that you're <laughs> Use it. Use it. He will give us grace again for another for his Sunday. All right? There are plenty of people out there that's hurting, that need help. Help them. Jesus sent his disciples out, he said, preach the good news of the kingdom. He said, heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out unclean spirit, cleanse the leper. He said, freely you receive, freely give. All right? Freely you receive, freely give. So me, oh no, so I have three little bottles like that on my refrigerator for when somebody is in need, you know. So don't, don't be afraid to, all right? So make way for a greater blessing. You see, we had the oil of Jehovah. God, we thank God. We had testimony. Oil of the rock come, and it make oil of Jehovah look like toys. Hmm? And, uh, and it have greater oil coming. So use that. Let the miracles flow. And uh, people asking for it. Yeah? So don't be af afraid when they call on you in one of those radio stations and asking <laughs> about, we have been hearing about an oil. Oil. Tell us more about that oil. Huh? Huh? What is it? We have been hearing about that oil. God has blessed us. And let us not be afraid to bless others. We understand that? Yes. <coughs> we sure you understand? Yes. You sure, sure, sure we understand? Yes. We sure, sure, sure we understand? Yes. Oil of the rock is great. We thank God for oil of the world. 2024, year of miracle. And uh, indeed, we have been hearing of the miracle. Sister Kishma, you have a testimony? To me, I see you come up earlier on. You have a oh, Okay, okay. Okay, I'll call you just now. Uh, huh? You you ready to go? Okay, just now. Who else? Who? Huh? I asked her she tight on that one. <laughs> I ask a little oil of the rock to give to somebody. By the way, to the mark, I see like that. <laughs> she watching me to see, and then she run and take it. Yeah, I see. Ah. I say, ah, oh, my wife hiding from me. Why? I say, what? So I didn't see where she going to get the oil. I didn't see the bottle. So I did. I said, doing that. <laughs> Run and take it. I, but I catch her. I say, ah. Okay, he asked me. He asked me from oil. So I, I took it out. And I said, okay, well, since you say I have to hide it somewhere else. <laughs> so I, went, I went, went, to, went to the bathroom and then I put it somewhere. So, but... um. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm preserving because I have to send out to some people overseas. So I have a reason. Eh? Okay. And um, since you already you teased me to come up, I'll just say my a quick testimony. It's something small, but um, remember when I said I used to always anoint my phone screen and my p the pictures of my loved ones, my mom, my sisters, their children, and so on. I used to, my dad... I used to, whoever picture I get, and I just take the oil and I place it on it, on their picture. It's a point of contact. And um, I used to always be putting it on my phone screen. And my, hus can, my husband can testify. And he was there once when my phone just fell, plop, on concrete, on its screen. I have no screen protector. And it was plop. How many times I come here? Plop. When I pick up the phone, no scratch, nothing. So, but then I said I should have put it on my camera too because my camera got a crack. So, it's really is bulletproof. All right. So, so Kish. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
And where, where you are thinking you know where that is. Because we already changed that. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, June, let's go. <laughs> Morning. If I love the rock, I literally cannot fall sick. Because every time, every little thing I feel, ha, ah, I love the rock. I anoint and I don't feel anything. I don't know. I just don't feel anything. Anyway, um, a friend of mine came to the car park at a time. Uh, one day he was stiff neck. But when he come, he come like that. I asked him what happened to him, he told me, you don't know, he's a stiff neck that's running, but he had a stiff neck two days ago, and somebody with a left hand turned it for him, and he's still not feeling nothing. But when he come to talk to me, he's doing that. I say, you believe in God? He tell me, yes. I say, you believe Jesus can heal you? He tell me, yes. I tell him, I'm going to anoint you. I have an oil there, oil of the rock, I'm going to anoint you. Is it okay? He tell me, yes. I take the oil and I rub it in my hand and I say, oil of the rock, rock of ages, cleft for him. I pray for him and I anoint the neck and I twist the neck and I bend the neck. And while I talking to him, he stayed there waiting for his mother, his mother going shop. He talking and I see him doing that. I say, but. Tell me you're turning the neck now, no. He said, yes, sweet, because I was coming down and I just could not turn that neck and it, my whole body going with the neck and pain. <laughs> but now I'm not feeling nothing, so thank you, Lord, for oil of the rock. Yes. There's another case where a uh, co-worker, people, those people on, on YouTube, co-worker got a problem. And they asked her to come in today. They sent her home yesterday and they asked her to come in today. She came, came by me first thing this morning. So I tell her, no worry, go in the name of Jesus. She going to meet him now. I tell her, go in Jesus' name. I'll intercede on your behalf. I tell her, be a humble person and God will work with you. And she left, I took the oil. I did not anoint her, I anoint my hand. And I say, Holy Spirit, go forth and sit on that table and intercede for on her behalf. I did it three times. And she come back, she come back smiling, I asked her what happened. She tell me, Say she cannot understand the, rec the, the report. So come back on Monday. She said, I, ca I don't understand. If something happened, I don't see why, how she cannot understand. I say, allow God to work. I say, you give it to God and allow him to work. So I thank you, Lord, again for the oil of the rock. Ha! Huh. I depend on you. Thank you, Jesus. Oil of the rock. Relief that already go nowhere. Huh? Neck greaser, stiff neck destroyer. Huh? Oil of the rock. Huh? Effective oil. Huh? Yeah, 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 bro, bro, see, brother. That is effective. The boy say, he, what, what, what was he use? He. Pishone him. Huh? But, bro, see, how much? What I want to give him that? No? Huh? Less than that? Half of that? That I want. And the boy, so the boy, the boy had pish on the in. So you, you, you had say, you had say, um, knowing the boy, he gonna call people and things. Yeah. <laughs> uh -uh. That boy, they were gonna call nobody. <laughs> All right, sister. Okay, who else that want to go that not a go before I call back sister Sylvia? Huh? If I can, you can do testimony. But not about oil of the rock. Okay, hold it there. You come in last. All right? Oil of come. Good 
morning. morning. I have two testimonies of the oil of the rock. Okay. <laughs> it had once my um, daughter had a fever. I wasn't sure what was causing the fever. So I call my mother and I tell her, come and touch my daughter. And she, she tell me she hot. So my mother tell me to get the oil of the rock and pray for her. So I went in the room to get the oil of the rock. But when I come back, Jada says she don't want the oil of the rock. And then she run and hide, as looking for all over the place. <laughs> all over the place. So when I, I go in Rihanna's room to see if she's there, I don't see her. Then something tell me to just watch on the Rihanna bed. I saw her and I tell her to come. And then I put it, the oil of the rock in my hands. And then I hold her hands and I start to pray for her. A certain time I noticed she um, started to sweat. And then when I touch her, fever gone. When I call, I call my mother in the kitchen and tell her, come, come, come and touch her. And then when she touch her, gone. And the second time, the second time um, I wake up in the middle of the night. I don't know what was wrong with me. But I was started to tremble in, tremble in. So I take the, the oil of the rock on my shell. And as soon as I touch my head with that, I just feel my body just calm down. I say in my mind, what? <laughs> 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 my body just stop one time. I say a little prayer, and then I fall back asleep. Yeah. Oil of the rock works. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I. <laughs> Uh -huh, you afraid oil of the rock? Uh -huh. You afraid it? So we know how to deal with you. When you come, we know how to hit you with. That tongue you like to put on there. We put oil of the rock on your tongue. <laughs> uh, oil of the rock works. It works. It works. It's from the Lord. It has to work. It must work. Hmm? Must work. It must work. And you have it. If you have it, that means you're anointing. And the Lord said, touch not my anointing. I feel sorry for people that want to touch people with oil of the rock. Remember Griffith's son? Yeah? They touch him with oil of the rock. Keep his wallet. That night, they did not sleep. You know how we know we didn't sleep? Because the morning at five after five, Rosie passed them standing. When he passed down, they were standing up by the road. They couldn't go and sleep. All of the rocks start tormenting them. Remember? The same Saturday morning, you come down. 5 a.m., they stand up by the road. They cannot go and sleep. Next thing you know, they send the, they send the man wallet back for him. Oil of the rock, they mooted him. Couldn't sleep that night. We know it worked. Yeah, we know. That doesn't mean oil of Jehovah was working or Jehovah was working. It's just that that one more potent. And we thank God for it. Amen. To him, all the glory. Yeah. All the glory. Every quas glory. Yeah. We, we, we wipe the bowl and we give him our finger. Say, take, take, take. All the, all the glory. All. Not all of it is his. And as he is glorified, more testimony will come from the oil. Thank you, Jesus. Come, sister. Good morning again. But I'm testifying on my um, grandchild's behalf. Eh? Yesterday, before I came down here, because her mother sent a message to me, and she said, Kaylee went to school, and she did not know she had a test. But the Saturday she was by me, no, this Saturday, yes, I got a little bottle, I washed it, and I put some of it in her, in her bottle, and I say, put this in your school bag. And I say, I mean, it's at your home, so night time, anoint yourself. And I tell her how to pray. So she woke up Wednesday, went to school. And Richard's school, there is the test. There's a test. And she's checking, boy, I didn't study for the test. Eh? And she's afraid she didn't study for the test, so she know. She say, 
boy, mommy, um, mom's wife, she was calling me, mom, say, mom's wife, sit down there. I go, I take my little, unzip my bag, take my little oil, anoint myself, and say my prayer. She said, Mom's, when they finish, I get 94. <laughs> <laughs> so she's so happy, she sent the picture to me and telling her mother, tell my Mom's now, tell my Mom's, I get 94. So to God be the glory. Amen. No, before I go and sit, um, my, I live downstairs and my brother and his girlfriend live upstairs. Me you cafe twin, they just make noise, always in a trouble. I did one night, I say, you know what? Okay, I'm going to stop all you. I felt I just put some oil of the rock in my hands, and I downstairs, and I just blow upstairs. I haven't heard them for a couple nights, so I'm just saying, thank you, Jesus. I haven't heard them, because they always in a noise. Always, always, always making noise. So I just want to say thank you for oil of the rock. May God be glorified in everything. All the glory belongs to him. Amen. Amen. Boy, if we have a child here that's not smart with oil of the rock, <laughs> that one, uh, oh, we have to make another oil for that. <laughs> because we've been hearing the testimony from the oil of the rock and how the children just, you know, first our one day that messing up. We have it. You see, it's with us, it's with our children. Hmm? It is with our neighbors. How many? You know the amount of people who have oil of the rock today? If everybody who have oil of the rock or oil of the rock have touched will come to church, it has got to sit here. So you see the size of Revive the Heart Ministries. I just want to say that. Huh? You see the size. Of Revive the Heart Ministries. Revive the Heart Ministries spreading all. Let us realize it. Spreading like fire. These people, the moment anything happened to them, who they come into is all you. <laughs> huh? It's all you. If all of them come, we have got space here. It's overflow. And don't think they're not telling others. They're telling others. It's all love the rock. God will save everyone who come in contact with it in the name of Jesus. Amen. They will not escape the anointing in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because of the anointing, the yoke is broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father. Yeah, even we laugh, but ignorance, you know, yeah. they don't know. Yeah. For him, is a, you buy that somewhere, a, like a snake oil, you rub yeah. your hair, and you know, you don't, they don't know. Our people in Dominica don't know about these things. We heard of people anointing oil. It's the first time we, we, we come across anointing oil. It's the first time. Before they, they, just, they just pick up the oil and say, Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus, we anoint this oil. Oh, oh, oh. And you have been using that. Huh? You feel just like um, bakes. <laughs> that's what you feel like bakes. Because that's all. All you need to do is go in the, in the pan. But this is anointed oil. Oil of the rock. We literally go nowhere without it. Come. Well, I also just thank God for his mercy upon my life. And every day I breathe in, every day I come in here. So, well, today, um, well, let's just give it from yesterday. So yesterday I was sitting at home and I'm waiting for an exam to be posted. So I sit down there waiting, waiting, after eight, waiting, after nine, waiting. At some point, after 12, I saw a message in the school saying what's going on with the exam. So I just there doing my little card, I do my little studying. I didn't study for the exam, I can pass it anyways. So I didn't study for the exam, so I did doing my little thing. Some point I check in, after five, I still waiting for the exam. Message the teacher, the teacher not telling me. So I check in, what is that? He come back after nine, in the night, come, oh sorry, whatever. I know he not like that. He's not the type of person. Once you see he doing his thing, he doing his thing, no one is for no. So I check in, what's what I'm, something I'm doing? Anyways, I leave that alone. So now, this, this two day I wake up, checking, okay. Cool. I have two exams to do this. I'm preparing for 
my entrepreneurship and my law exam. So as you can, I can pass the entrepreneurship that I'm good at. Law is what I need to focus on. So I focus in on law. And then I see the exams posted. So I say, okay, thank God. Amen to that. I sit down there and say, I look at the time, I see 11 something. I say, boy, I don't think I can go down Mahu for food and to come back up to get ready and then go back and go send you. I said, I don't think I have the time for that. So I say, if he's hungry, he's air and faith. I'll eat and water alone. I'll drink and I'll go down, I'll go down RTHM. So I sit sitting down there. Not a few minutes pass, I'm tuk, 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 somebody thing in my door. I say, wizard in that. So I go, I think, I check it. Oh, yes, I run back for my key. I unlock the door. I see my auntie, she do me that. So I check, what, what you doing? What are you going on? So I close the door, I lock it and go and sit down. Go back to my exam. I hang, tuk, 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 tuk. she come back again. I open the door, she give me food. I say, my mother, I, I look for my phone. I seem to see my mother tell nobody to cook for me. So I check in, but come she just open the door and give me food like that. I say, manna from heaven. I say, amen. Thank God for that. So I get food. I was well fed. I, I get ready. I get dressed and I come down RTHM right after that. Say, so, amen. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I, I hope you don't store any because <laughs> it will turn to <laughs> We thank God for the oil of the rock. We do what? No, there are some of you who were blessed. Remember, we're waiting for the testimony. Yeah. Well, June already come and testify. She said she take the hand, and she gave the hand, yeah. and uh, she see she get something to receive. All right. Um, so the the rest of all you that that get more than the hand, we're waiting on all you. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we know that, Dora. We have oil on the rock for you, don't we? It will, it will die. <laughs> yeah. so, so, you are blessed Amen. to be at Revive the Heart Ministries. You are blessed. Amen. You are blessed. Amen. To be a part of this ministry, you are blessed in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. I always think of it and I say, there is nobody who has come to revive the heart ministry and did not see change in their lives. Amen. Even Amen. those who have left us. Amen. Every one of them. Amen. Every one of them. Amen. Tomorrow, we don't know who will go to BBC. But one thing we know, nobody did not stay the same when they left. I always say sometimes those who start is not those who will finish. Because people go on their way. People get married and they have to move to another. People find they had enough of RTHM and they have to move to another ministry. Some move because they vex, something didn't go their way, and things happen. And uh, but here it is. RTHM has just started. RTHM just started, and RTHM is hitting Dominica by storm. The same. People, they fight. And imagine that, almost four years, they're still fighting us. That is to show you, we still have it. If we had dropped out, they would have stopped fighting us. But you would think we just come out the way people are stuck. We thank God for us being a part of this ministry Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. There are those who say they can never come back here again. May God be with them. Amen. And there are those who promise to come back and they don't come back. <laughs> May God be with them. But we are here. I say we are here. 
We are here. Yes. Tom drunk, but them no fool. None of us here, name is Tom. Yeah. We're not drunk, yeah. and we're no fool. Yeah. We know when something good mm. is good. Yeah. Si bon, di bon. Yeah. Bon. Yeah. bon. Yeah. bon, même sister. Yeah. <laughs> bon. Yeah. bon. So, God will continue to up, take us from glory to glory, height to height, level to level. This is Sunday. And I call this, once I start this message, is we're going to another level. Amen. 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 Once I start this message, we are doing what? You people, if you think oil of the rock doing miracle, wait until you see what you will do. Yeah. Eh? Once I start this message on Sunday, we are going to another level. So, Sunday, God's grace, come ready. Bring your notebook. I will take my time. Hmm? Bring your dictionary because <laughs> the words I I, <laughs> I, I might I <laughs> I I <laughs> uh, so so I. What I'm saying is that the Lord is ready for, to take us to next level. Next level. And don't be afraid. I, I, I was thinking, Sister Sylvia, I'm not Sylvia, but Sister Yvonne, when she preached powerfully on Sunday, Elijah, boom, Jubilee, boom. That's RTHM way, all that way. And you have those there that pull up there, that have grace, and they, they don't. Huh? They have it. And they don't exercise it. Thank you, sis. It's you, I say it, not me. <laughs> And even those that we don't think have it, but those they know they have it, they will surprise us. Yeah. Sometimes you go to people and they, <laughs> I think, <laughs> Sister Yvonne told me, I say, Sister Yvonne, I say, Pastor Yvonne, you, you, you share it on Sunday. She said, what? <laughs> I, I said, why in her head? I said, don't worry, don't worry. I will tell you who doing the main messages, but you, at least you have to exhort. Because I just want you to come there and say, uh, and now we call on, no, is we turn for next level. So she said, she said, Brother Albert, I say you'd exhort. I say, even if it's five minutes, five minutes. She, she don't stop to she tell me yes or no. Uh, so the Sunday I call, I tell her, I send a message, I tell her, you will do it first thing in the morning, early, while I have got plenty of people. <laughs> uh, so I was there waiting to hear five minutes, I there listening to her. I see five minutes pass. I see 10 minutes pass. I see 15 minutes pass. I see 20 minutes pass. I see 25 minutes pass. I say, we. <laughs> uh, and she there, and she giving her scripture, and she, she go, this is our teacher. If you're learning, you should be able to. You should. And I know you all can. A lot of you just have too much of that. Too much of that. <clears throat> all right? You people are anointed. When we ask, are you anointed? All of us say, yes. And then God give us oil of the rock. Every night we anoint ourselves. Every day we anoint ourselves. Hmm? 
Hey, Joanna, see, I, I put that on my head. I just feel calm. I say, what? <laughs> Joanna have the thing on her, in her room, and she's surprised. <laughs> huh? She think it's a flower pot she had there. <laughs> Let's get ourselves to the next level. Let's not just stay. Stay where we... If you're still at the same place, you are not growing. That's not good. You will be plucked out. You hear that? If you are still at the same place, the Bible, God says he plucked you out. Because that means you stop grow. No matter what level you get to, if you stay at the one level and not moving, that means you have stopped grow. He will take you. Who are ready to go to heaven? Anybody that's ready to go to heaven, stop grow. And see how fast he takes you. Remember tomorrow morning, 6 a.m. for fasting and meditation. Remember Christmas. You hear me Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> I imagine that. No, not Christmas already. No. Imagine that. I know, Brucey. I know it in my head what it is. I say it in my mind and I open my mouth and it couldn't come out. So I'm not calling that thing in my mouth. <laughs> it's not that I don't know. I know. I say it in my mind and I open my mouth to say it and it's Christmas that come out. <laughs> huh? So on that, those two days, Monday and Tuesday, we go, it's our fasting. And we're going on this mountain there. We're not going up Goshen number one. <laughs> this one there is easy walk. Easy go, easy come. All right? So it's right there. And we're going on the top there. All right? So that's what we'll, we will be spending. Some of you will be spending Monday, Christmas Monday and Christmas Tuesday. Huh? And uh, there are, but there will be people... There will be some that will be out there from the Friday. All right? We'll be out there. And uh, if all you feeling like all you start getting jealous, you just come. Whatever day you all you want. It's not far. You walk up that road there. You bend. You go up. You just see that pillar up there. You just follow the road like you're going to the pillar and then the road take you. Once you reach up there, you see you see up there and we up there we'll see you. <laughs> <laughs> and you just go up. Uh, I spoke to the evangelism team last night and I told them this year we're going to add fasting. So we'll be doing a little more fasting and uh, so the days where we used to go hot water and say, hey, those days, there, that was last year. This year we fast. So every opportunity, every holiday, we fasting. All right? So don't, it's, it's the cross that the Lord asked us to pick up this year. Huh? So we pick up that cross. And, uh, and he will reward us. But this year, he, he's rewarding us with miracles. Hmm? He's rewarding us with miracles. So, the year just started. Today's what date? 26. But this year, will fly fast. It will fly fast. Imagine, today's the 26th of January, and I'm ready to put 2025. And, I, and Sunday, by the time you come Sunday, you'll see it there. 2025, year of bam. Hmm? So that means 2024. No, you're not going. It go. It go. It finish. But it will not, it will not, um, um, children, pray hard this year. And you know, last year, we stand up there and say, not a hurricane. We see what 
Huh? Yeah. Over. Over. Oh, like it's like a, a basketball we're playing for a weekend. You know what I say? I'm not going to say more than that. I'm saying this year, pray hard. Pray hard. I don't say nothing more. Pray hard this year. Hmm? Pray hard this year. Don't forget, pray for our prime minister. Pray for the president of Dominica. Um, don't put this one on YouTube. Make sure or you edit that before it premiere. those who are troublesome for attention. And uh, you know what that is, troublesome for attention. So there is a wind that will blow, that will remove the trouble from our midst. Why? Because if trouble remain, we can easily get distracted. God don't want us to get distracted. So there is a wind that will blow. Huh? <sighs> See all you just do it. <sighs> <laughs> uh, that will remove trouble from our midst. And um, I will welcome it. Again, hear this. Welcome to everybody. Well go to everybody. I'll change them how got membership. I'll teach him doesn't belong to bro A. No long we've been saying, since the beginning of teach him, that was clear. It's not bro A. Bro A fighting to keep his position. And bro A have to report to the Lord. So bro A have to do what the Lord said to do. And nobody, therefore nobody own a chair here. You have to... <laughs> Uh, well, which one you see the one last night, uh, night before? <laughs> uh, nobody own a chair here. Yeah? That's why we don't pass the offering basket. For, so we don't know who put and who don't put. We don't know who put, we don't know who don't put. It's when I pass at the back there, I peep inside there, I see money, I say, hey, come, 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 come. <laughs> Hey, I doesn't ask them from who hand you come out, so that nobody get preference. We try to do as the Lord tell us to do. Huh? We try to do as the Lord tell us to do. I know troublesome. It's just that God has given me grace. To not to treat anybody different, even if they're troublesome. I still treat everybody with love. 
but I take it out. But it was there. My sheep hear my voice, and they follow me. Another shepherd they will not follow. I was telling us something. Every sheep will find their shepherd. Every sheep will find their shepherd. This is our teaching. The University of Christianity is not church. If it was church, all of us would be having crusade. If it was church, we would not be there tomorrow morning. If it was church, we would not be on the mountain. If it was church, we would not be on the street every week. It's not church. Do we dress like people are going to church? No. So it's not church. So please, people, relax yourself. Love Jesus and RTHM is a body of ministers. It's for ministry. You come there to minister unto the Lord. Prophet TV Joshua, today, they are saying all manner of things against him. The same people he tried to help. <clears throat> same people. Because they refused to be delivered, he had to send them go. Me, I will not be sending nobody go. But people will go. People will go. And uh, don't think nobody reaching BBC before me. <laughs> when you enter the office, you see me sitting down there. I really don't give my, my story. <laughs> Uh, uh, by the time you enter, you see yourself on the screen. I give him the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> My prayer is that everybody would know this is our teacher is the Lord's. I said it. I will keep saying it. Was Bro A there on Sunday? For the past few months, Bro A going every three Sundays. Bro A gone. Who preaching? Who teaching? The children, the young ones. Huh? And every time Bray come back, they report. Wow, great message. They, they better than Bray. They better than Bray. So you to think it's Bray A thing or Bro C. You see, Bro, bro C, Bro A book up with there. <laughs> bro, bro C, Bro A book up with. It's, it's <laughs> Why are you calling it? I don't know. Do I see go go goatee? Bro see growing. <laughs> Bro see growing goatee. Huh? You <laughs> Why is it? Sheepy. sheepy. All right. Bro see growing sheepy. Thank you, sister. Bro see growing sheepy. Eh? Bro see growing what? Sheepy. When we started, it was three of us. And we had the the green shirt. No, it's only two green shirts that left. <laughs> yeah? What the two green shirts? The other green shirt not there. So if in the free that start, one of the green shirt left, it's not all that will not leave. Yeah? It's not all, if that <laughs> if that green shirt there missing in the midst. That one there, I expect anybody to go. Anybody. I expect anybody to go. Hmm? Sometimes I said, Brucey, Brucey, when you go, he said, that can never happen. <laughs> yeah? It's the Lord's ministry. It's not for man. It's not man. That's why God take great fell. And have her preaching. He take her from the tanks, Jesus. No, he doesn't even hear that. She almost speaking. That's why God take Yvonne. Do you born again? Huh? 
<laughs> no, I even feel in a little left thought because those that doesn't hear see those things on the street again. I just say, but who teach her now? Uh, uh, yeah. Kishma, I teach you. <laughs> Kishma, I write it for you. <laughs> oh, she said, okay. She, oh, Kishma, you are doing that to us. <laughs> So uh, what I'm telling you, God take people with no school. Okay, younger people, don't put up your hand. In the well, how many of you finish school? <laughs> but it's true. You all think it's joke. People without education. People without education that is going out and preaching there. And teaching the commonwealth of Dominica. People without education that have people with education coming and challenging them on the street. Debating. So that is to show you that have nothing to do with man yet. So let's just not treat it like a man thing. Let us not treat it like a man thing. Respect the work of God. RTHM. The University of Christianity. Where the oil of the rock was originated. Oil of the rock. Let's say together. Where are the oil? We, uh, uh, where the camera? Where the camera? Get all, oh boy, get all, all the oil of the rock. We turn to the camera. <laughs> wait, 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 camera. That's the camera there. This one. All right. Are you ready? Stay together. One, two. Oil of the rock. We literally go nowhere without it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right. You are all blessed. See you tomorrow at 6 a.m. In Jesus' name, amen. amen.